Rent to own and owner financing are extremely popular options for first time home buyers. However, in the hot market that the South Carolina Midlands has seen in the past year, they are almost impossible to find. So what do you do if you want to rent a nice home and you don't want to live in a cramped apartment for a few years? Stay tuned, I may have an option for you. Hey everybody, my name is Sean Nichols and I'm a real estate agent here in the South Carolina Midlands with eXp Realty and I'm going to tell you about a lease purchase option many of my clients have used to rent homes in some of the hottest neighborhoods in South Carolina called Home Partners of America. This program offers what they call a new path to home ownership. So what is the Home Partners of America lease option program? Say you want to rent or own a home in a nice neighborhood but you just aren't ready to buy yet. Say you don't know the area very well and the idea of buying a home in the wrong neighborhood concerns you. Maybe you're looking for a great school zone and there's really limited rental properties for you to choose from. Or maybe you just need some time to work on your credit and save up a down payment before you buy your first home. But in the meantime, you wanna live in a nice house. Home Partners of America buys homes here in the local area and then leases them back to you. This opens you up to a ton more options for you to rent because now you can look at homes that are currently for sale, not just homes that are for rent. Basically, you pick the house, Home Partners buys it, and then you rent it from them. At any point during your lease, you have the option to buy the home from them for a predetermined price, but you don't have to buy it if you don't want to. Now, that's a really basic overview of how the program works, but let's dig a little bit deeper into the details. The first question I always get asked are, what are the requirements? There's obviously an application process that you'll have to go through in order to get approved. Home Partner's gonna take a look at your debt to income ratio, your credit scores, your housing history, your employment history, and do a criminal background check. What they are looking for are households with at least a $45,000 a year household income, a 580 plus credit score from the primary applicant, stable employment, no recent history of eviction, no pending bankruptcy, and an acceptable criminal history. If you wanna check out their program guide on income verification, I'll put the link in the description for you to use. Once you're approved as a tenant, they'll give you a maximum monthly rental amount that you qualify for, and then you and me can start looking for the right home for you and your family. So what properties qualify? Just like each tenant will need to be approved, the home itself will need to meet certain criteria. Home Partners isn't going to spend $2 million on a home. The max they're willing to spend is $400,000. It also must be a single family home. It must have at least two bedrooms and be on less than two acres of land. The home must also be in an approved community and in good condition. They will not buy any short sales or foreclosures. And in South Carolina, there can't be a pool on the property either. Home Partners is willing to purchase new construction homes as long as the home has been completed and the builder is willing to accept the standard state purchase contract. Once we find the home that you love, I'll send it over to Home Partners for their approval and if it qualifies, Home Partners will attempt to buy the home. This process takes about 45 days from the day that we submit the property. Assuming they're able to buy the home from the seller, you will then sign a one-year lease to rent the home after closing and repairs. You'll also have the option to have the home repainted or minor cosmetics repaired or replaced if the home doesn't meet your criteria. So what about the rental prices? From what I've seen, the rental prices are in sync with most other rental homes here in the Columbia, South Carolina area. However, you will know the exact rental price of the home before you sign the lease. Your rental price will increase every year you rent the home by no more than 3.75% per year. So for example, in year one, your rental price is $1,400. In year two, it would be $1,450 and so on for however long you rent the home. And you can rent the home for up to five years in South Carolina. So what about the security deposit? Home Partners requires a security deposit that is equal to two times the monthly rent. This security deposit is refundable when you move out, assuming you've left the home in good condition. Should you choose to buy the home, your security deposit can be used as part of your down payment when purchasing the property. Are pets allowed? Yes, Home Partners allows up to three pets, cats or dogs, as long as they have a combined weight under 180 pounds with certain breed restrictions. There is a $300 deposit per pet, and this is non-refundable if you decide to stop renting and move out. However, it is refundable if you decide to buy the home. 
So how do you purchase the home? You can buy the home at any time during your lease. You'll need to give Home Partners a 60 day notice of your intent to buy the home and Home Partners is not a mortgage provider. So you will need to contact a lender. If you need some assistance with that, I've put a link to my preferred lenders in the description of this video. Home Partners provides purchase price information to you before signing your lease. So there are gonna be no surprises on the price that you're gonna pay for this home. The total cost includes what it costs Home Partners to buy the home, as well as closing costs and HOA fees, as well as any make ready repairs and cost of any repairs that you requested prior to move in. So let's say you bought the home for $200,000 and paid $3,000 in closing costs, and you asked them to replace the flooring in the property for $7,000. That would bring your total purchase price up to $210,000. Each year, the purchase price is going to increase by 3.5 to 5% depending on market conditions. So after renting for a year, the purchase price will increase by that amount but that's actually lower than the amount that home prices have gone up here in Columbia in the past few years. So even with the price increase, it'll probably still be cheaper than if you wanted to wait and buy the home in the future. So what are some of the pros and cons of this program? The biggest pro is it allows people who want to live in great neighborhoods the ability to do so without buying a home right away. This is great for people moving to the area who want to get familiar with the community or folks who want to repair their credit or save money for a down payment before they buy their first house. The program is transparent and all the costs and fees are outlined prior to entering the lease agreement. If you want to see a pamphlet on, that they offer on the fee breakdown, I'll put that in the description as well. Another big pro is that you're never obligated to buy the home. If you choose not to buy the home, you can move out at the end of your lease and get your security deposit back. However, you will only be able to use the Home Partners program once, so Home Partners will not buy you another home should you decide to move out. The biggest con is that none of the rent you pay will be applied towards the purchase price of the home. However, most programs that do apply rent payments to the purchase price lock you into a contract and require that you buy the home at a certain point. They do require at least a 580 credit score to qualify, which might be a little bit difficult for some folks, and they do require a security deposit equal to two times the monthly rent. Lease options are an amazing tool for certain people, but it's also so difficult to find, and many homeowners just aren't willing to offer this type of financing. If you're interested in taking advantage of this program or learning more about it, I put a sign-up link in the description of this video as well, and you can always reach out to me at the number below. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have. And if you found this video helpful, do me a favor and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.